Hey guys, I'm in here from AT Sports again, um, bringing you another stock review video. Uh, today we've got an SS Players Bat from a shipment that we got in, uh, I think, a couple days ago last week. Um, so yeah, so it's the Darwin Milan, so you might have seen it in the recent sort of test series um, against, with India and England um, that's been going on. Um, that this is the bat that he's been using. Um, and yeah, we'll go... Uh, pretty much straight into it. So he, this is the the grains, as you can see, really lovely, stunning straight grains, and there's a boatload of them as well. Um, and then count them up. We've got uh, this half one sort of going off the edge. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and twelve and a half, and then half on this side. So maybe yeah, thirteen, I guess, twelve, thirteen grains. Uh, on this one and then you got that beautiful SS players sort of profile you got the the duck bill mid middle duck bill and then uh, sort of really tapers off at the end um, but still a pretty pretty thick toe on this one so yeah um, there is a spine sort of flattening out but you're getting a thick toe and then the spine uh, going into the handle as well um, and very thick edges as well on this one uh, big spine thick edges um, one thing I will notice is on this one the edge thickness really does carry throughout like it reaches pretty close to peak thickness about here and then it probably gets still remains to about there so yeah it's it's quite a big hitting area that you'll notice on this and then coupled with that we've got a super full profile as well uh, it's almost domed uh, so yeah Big, big hitting area, um, as you'd expect with one of the players' bats. Uh, they tend to use the, um, the lighter clefts for these bats, uh, just so they can get the, the maximum sort of performance out of them as well. So yeah, uh, on this one we've got a round handle, uh, and it stays pretty much the same thickness, uh, probably about a medium, medium to thin thickness um, from top to bottom as well, so yeah. And it stays that thickness as well throughout. Uh, and the weight on this one is 210. Uh, but because of that beautiful sort of duckbill profile, it really does pick up really nice and balanced. Uh, about a 2.9 pickup, I would say. So yeah, um, beautifully balanced this one as well. And we'll check the gauge as well. There uh, we go. So yeah, it gets pretty close to. Um, Maximizing the the um, the gauge, uh, but just under, I would say. So yeah, getting getting a really big bat, pretty close to the max of what you can get. That's legal these days. So yeah, we'll move on to the performance. We'll start off with the old full. fantastically sort of crisp. It doesn't feel soft actually as, as you might sort of as you might associate with players bats they people think that they're all really softly pressed and whatnot. Um, that's probably not that's not the case for all of them. Um, what you want is it's pressed for performance so for each sort of cleft or uh, piece of willow uh, it needs a different pressing uh, just to make sure for that particular piece of willow uh, that's the best performing press for that so yeah uh, which is exactly what's happened with this so it doesn't feel like a soft press it feels like a, about a medium medium press um, and so yeah that's and then it is rebounding really well as well because of that um, not feeling any sort of um, vibrations or anything like that um, into the handle, so yeah, that's an indicator that it is responding really well. Uh, and then we'll move on to the, the new ball as well. It's again, same, same story. Yeah, it feels, feels superb. Uh, let's check as well in the light, is there any seam marks? Yeah, barely any seam marks. So this one would require very minimal knocking, probably at the toe, 
uh, at the toe and the edges um, and then very minimal work in the middle because in the middle it's pretty much ready to go uh, into the nets um, and then yeah we'll just check where exactly all the, the best rebounds coming from with the hammer um, so yeah we'll start from the toe so yeah probably about three inches from the toe we're starting to get a bit of response this really starts to uh, really starts to go a bit bonkers uh, into I guess just just before the, the thicker spot yeah so yeah probably from about here to about here is what your your best hitting area is um, so yeah uh, really big nice performing bat um, perfect for somebody that's looking for a, sort of a medium weight medium weighted bat um, I reckon this profile would be great for somebody that's more or less looking to sort of stroke the ball or time the ball rather than sort of bash bash sort of Yorkers or bash or bash uh, things short of a length to play across the line or anything like that. I don't think this bat suited for somebody like that. I think this is more or less for somebody that's looking to get the elbow up high and go through the line and really time the ball and stroke the ball because the the shape is as such uh, where you're not going to get too much power from trying to smash Yorkers but uh, because of that pickup as well, um, because of that shape down there, it, it sort of um, is really good for sort of driving, um, driving on the up as well, and then and that shape also is very good for cutting and pulling as well. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a top grade bat or top of the line bat, uh, and that player description is, is close to what you think you are. Uh, then and then this is perfect for you, man. Like this is this is a special bat, uh, and it'll be perfect for you as well. Um, so, anyways, yeah, that's the the SS Starwood Milan. We've only got one of these available. Um, so yeah, please do if if you're interested, let us know. Um, messages or jump online. Uh, it'll be listed online as well, um, and then you can grab it, make it yours, or message us, and and we'll get it sorted for you. So yeah. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.